Underwriting for this program was provided by Papa John's at 4803 Montgomery Road. Papa John's, locally owned and operated. I think we're ready, Joe. All right, so just, just in time. So, good evening, gentlemen. Uh, we're listening to the uh, uh, announcing of Sean Weiss-Gerber for the senior night here at Norwood High School. Uh, we've got senior night here against Cincinnati Christian. Uh, this is Jack Bolden. I'm, I'm here with Joel Ward. And uh, we're going to bring you the play-by-play -play and other comments tonight. Joel, nice to have you with us. Jack, it's good to be here again. Very excited for senior night. We've got two seniors tonight. We've got Lily Peter and Malia Mabry, two great, great girls who represent the school well. Sad to see them go. It is. It is. always is. And uh, it's always an emotional night, but these girls are so mature, they didn't even shed a tear that I could tell. Uh, yeah, me, I couldn't see it either. Usually you see a lot of tears. I know, yeah. Uh, I read a couple of letters, and they were they were light, light uh, kind of on the lighter side. So uh, we'll, we'll, uh, the starting five tonight is uh, we're, we're missing uh, Destiny. And uh, so, so we won't have Desi tonight. But Lily's going to start, even though she's been out for most of the season or half the season. I got a feeling she's going to score tonight too. Well, uh, yeah, that's feeling. the plan. They're going to start with Lily under the basket, and she's not going to hurt herself. Uh, they're going to let her have a, a basket, and then we'll give uh, Cincinnati Christian a basket. Start the game two yeah. or two, two to two, and uh, always a good uh, gesture by coaches to let them do that and the referees and so forth. So uh, the uh, Cincinnati Christian goes with Brianna Bush, number 45. She's their leading rebounder, and uh, so they, they got their best player, their best scorer is out, Lizzie Grooms, with uh, she used to average of 15, and uh, so it's unfortunate that she's out. So uh, Miranda Hyde is a junior, number 10. She'll be uh, she'll be on the starting lineup. Uh, number 24, sophomore Lauren Barr. And uh, Caitlin Fritz, junior number 30, and I didn't get the fifth starter. Uh, I believe it was number John. five, uh, Caitlin uh, Huffman. Oh, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. She's a se uh, sophomore that, as well. That yeah. sounds good, huh? All right, we'll go with that. They've only got, uh, <laughs> looks like, eight players right yeah, there. Yeah, there, there wasn't even a JV game tonight. Yeah, uh, right. They got, so. got some sickness and injuries. So, uh, you know, their leaders, uh, uh, Lizzie Grooms leads in assists. She's the one that's not here. Leads assists, uh, also turnovers, but uh, anyways, and steals. So she's a pretty big part of their uh, their offense and defense. Uh, now Brianna Bush, uh, she's their leading rebounder. So uh, so she's here tonight. They're going to jump center. Uh, Lily is going to have to run half the court to get her a bucket, but uh, yeah, they're not going to challenge it. They're going to let her have it. Surprised they don't just put her under there and let her take her time with it. Yeah, just go ahead with it. Maybe then we get some uh, some photo ops here. Mm -hmm. Here she goes. A little bit of half speed. What is she doing? Is she going to the right basket? <laughs> She's going the right way. She's going to stall there further. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that'll be a memory for her that uh, absolutely, absolutely. is uh, kind of positive. And she gets a standing ovation from the Norwood crowd here. Good crowd tonight. Yeah, yeah, it's good. So... She gives uh, Coach Mike Moyers a big hug and Coach David Cox and uh, the other assistants, they're in there too. Maggie and Donnellan's there. And yeah, Corinne, um, I guess it's Maggie Maggie and uh, now they, Jacob Martin. Is they, that who this? They should let Cincinnati Christian score here, right? I mean, uh, I would think they would. Like That's kind of unfair to give uh, yeah. us a bucket in there. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. Who wants to? Okay, oh, okay. They, she oh, is going to drive say, in. Looks like they're like. They were setting up the. Oops. Uh oh, we're having a little bit of trouble here. Uh, just one hey, shot, right, Joe. Okay. Just <laughs> one shot at it. Come on. Box out. Box out. <laughs> all right, we're gonna, We're at two here to we two. Go, here we go. And the clock is running. We're underway here. Looks like tonight. Molly Bolden uh, took over for Lily. Okay, and foul on number 45. It's a nice move by Nalissa there to draw that foul. I'm top of the uh, three-point arc. 
So like I said, uh, uh, Destiny Rice not in the lineup tonight. She's at home sick. So uh, again, we've got number 23 for her, uh, Riley Molden coming in. Maria takes and, a shot. Uh, Malia Mabry working hard for that rebound. Good steal. Yeah, Malia having a good year. She's uh, yeah. she's the leader in rebounders and uh, rebounding and uh, also. Uh, oh, a big shot by uh, number 21, Anna Moore. So the, the previous game we played, uh, there's a double dribble. Uh, Anna Moore uh, is leading Cincinnati Christian in, uh, in threes this year. She, only, she has 15, 19 games. Yep, somebody to pay attention to. Yeah, they, they're coming in 0-9 and 4-15, and so not having a great year or anything. And they're, they're shorthanded tonight, too, with, with some uh, injuries. There's a good trap right there. And she gives it to Melissa. Melissa, good job. Malia with a little turnaround jumper. Boy, we're playing hard. She needs to settle down and make, make some layups here. Norwood's coming off a win uh, from Saturday. They beat uh, Clark by two points. And uh, we had a couple of girls out that day. Uh, Maria wasn't here. So uh, Norwood comes at 16-5 and five and 5-4 five and four in the league. The league leaders are 8-1, and one, both uh, since that country day and summit. So uh, nobody else is going to challenge them. We'll see how that ends up. I guess they play tonight. Nice I'll little. probably finish up the, uh, the league, you're saying, huh? What's that? Cincinnati uh, Country Day and... Uh, and Summit. And Summit going to decide who wins the league tonight? Yeah, if they play tonight, I think, yeah. Good look by Maria into, into uh, Dahlia. That easy bucket. Jack, we got a full, full, full court press on here. Looks like it's working, too. Wow, great some pressure. Okay. Yeah, Mike Moyer is real aggressive with his press already and uh, pays dividends right away. So uh, coach calls timeout for uh, for Cincinnati Christian head coach. Says Natalie Grooms. I don't think that's him. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously somebody taking Natalie, she might be. Uh, well, her daughter is the leading scorer, so uh, she must be sick too. Uh, maybe so. Jack, we have uh, Kareem Barnes in the in the uh, in the uh, in the house tonight. She's our trainer. She just had a baby not too long ago. Oh, really? Congratulations came, to Kareem. Came here for uh, senior night. She says everything's going well. Always important to have a, a trainer here, and she yeah. has a substitute. Yes, yeah, she does. Yes, yeah. Kareem is only here to observe tonight. She's not she won't be doing any uh, any work. <laughs> Another good trap right yeah, there. Absolutely. They break it this time. Good, good play by. Good setup by the coach. That one gets away inside. There's a three-point attempt. Well, it wasn't three, was it? No, it looked like a rush shot. Good hustle right there, number 45, the leading rebounder. Wow. Got to get these rebounds. Number 21, Anna, Anna Armour. Armour. Yeah. Nice nice bucket right there. Good little shot. They take the lead eight to six. Like I said, uh, we had little trouble with them over at uh, earlier in the year. Yeah. And uh, so they're going to play hard tonight. Sometimes senior night, the girls are a little emotional and uh, they have trouble getting their their emotions under control. And well, also when you beat a team the first time so easily, you come in maybe just feeling a little flat, like you don't need to be on your game. No question about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's what Coach Moyers is trying to avoid. Yeah. You know, with the press on and everything. There's Nalia, good rebound, right back to her. Can't lay it in. And he comes down. The rebound, it's a jump ball. Possession's going to go to Cincinnati Christian, so we'll set up a press. Again. So we'll see what kind of adjustment we can make. Oh, right yeah. back to her, good steal or knock oh, away yeah, by well, Maria. And uh, Malia sticks it in, gets fouled. Foul on number 10. Miranda Hyde. That's her first. Team second. Malia off the mark a little bit. Here comes Cincinnati Christian on the move. That's number 10 right there with oh, the ball. Get out of her. Get out of her. Good. Good little penetration there. Yep. Good rebound by Maria. Yeah. She's on the move. Here she goes now. She's no advantage. She, she cuts get it and go. in between two, throws it up. Good job. Yeah. 
Maria, our leading scorer with 13.7. And uh, it's hard to stop driving down, driving down the middle. That's her favorite thing yeah, to do is yeah, take yeah. it to the hole. Right Off the rebound. She's going to try to do the same thing. Oh, no yeah. foul there. I don't know about that. Good nice look. pass. Oh, Good pass. Dahlia. Dahlia, nice, uh, nice hustle to recover. Absolutely. Had a bad angle on the first Good layup. Pass. Couldn't get it in. Now we're nice to strong drive group. there. Oh. Starting to find our group here, looks like. Uh oh. Maria is always in a hurry, and she, yes, she she's is. gonna she's gonna make things happen in a hurry. She's got two two speeds. Two speeds. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? <laughs> fast, and fast, fast and faster. Yeah, like good <laughs> look nice right look. there. Good job. Yeah, that's good ball movement moving around. Yeah. Coach is gonna call another timeout for Chris Inside question. So uh, he's gonna. I bet you he's concerned about the press because they've thrown it away a couple times. They've been jostling on the boards and stuff. But uh, I'm guessing he'll look at a different way to, to break the press and yeah. see if he can confuse us, get, maybe get an easy bucket down here and call it off. That's what will turn the press around right away is you get a couple easy layups, and then they kind of got to back off a little bit. That's what he's looking for. I'll tell you what, too. I mean, he's only got two subs, and then uh, his 35 was a little winded from having to break that press. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got size or a uh, formidable size advantage against yeah. him with our traps up front, too. So. But he also, you know, it's kind of early. It's only the first quarter, but kind of early to call two timeouts. But you can't let it go because it's six-point lead for Norwood now. And if you continue to let it go, it's just going to get out of hand. So just true. you keep it in control as long as you can. I mean, you only have five timeouts. That's so. true. That's true. They don't get media timeouts here in uh, <laughs> high school, so can't utilize those. Well, uh, CCS just put in uh, Stephanie Veldekamp. Uh, uh, as a sub, she's a freshman. Okay. So she can, uh, she can help them break this press a little more e easily. So Stephanie has, uh, she's only played in five. Uh, Stephanie, yeah, she's played in 17 games. 17 so she's games. she's not inexperienced. Uh, not a lot of uh, ac action with the ball and stuff, but uh, she's got playing time experience. Yes, so there looks like they're doing the same thing. Maybe they're trying to. Wow. So, so he, they're definitely trying to, to throw it in um, uh, over to the right to, uh, to number 10. On the here. opposite yeah. side so that Malia has a longer way to run to get the trap in. And then I think so. I'll look for the freshman number four. Okay, there's there a – There you go. Uh, that was a good look, but they got the trap on there quick. Yeah, too. yeah they did. Got to take our time, move the ball around a little bit. Maria drives. Going to yeah. get that foul. Got good hammered job. there a little bit. Yep. So one thing, one thing, since that Christian could try is just bring all four girls up along the foul line, and that forces Nora to bring up all their players if they're going to try to contest that. Yeah. And then they just got to get a little quicker with their passes as they throw it in. So I wonder too if they could set maybe a screen to get somebody open. They could do that. Yeah. Although they're letting them have it in bounds. Uh, so that's, that, that's true. So the screen wouldn't do that that much on that. They just got to get it in a position where they can't get trapped. Maria off the mark with both free throws. Well, we're right back into this trap, almost out of the rebound. On a missed shot, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Good look there. Bounce pass might have worked a little better. Good drive. We can't get to the hole. Oh, she splits the two defenders and gets fouled. Good move right there. Yes, it was. Yeah, Maria only shooting 48% from the free throw line, so if she missed both of those, I would think she would be higher, but something she might want to work on. Yeah, I feel like she had the same problem the last time I was here, Jack. Yeah, oh, yeah. So that's uh, Brianna Bush on the line for two. She misses the first and 14 to eight, uh, three minutes to go in the first quarter. And that one rolls in. 14-9, no press by Cincinnati Christian. They're going to come back in a. It's it's a modified two-three. They got a they got a point, but uh, they'll split that after. Yeah, she got fouled there. A little too aggressive. They got to watch their fouls, Joel. They only got eight <laughs> yeah. players. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Jack. And not that I hope this doesn't come up, but I, I believe you could you could finish a game with four players. Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. If you want to. Oh, wow. So, uh, no, number 10, Miranda, uh, Miranda uh, High just picked up her second foul. Oh, that's too early to get yeah. that, yeah. And she did come out really, really too hard. Another nice pass wow. by Maria. Good she luck. And seeing them court well tonight. Yeah. All right, good look up the yep. floor there. Yep. A little indecisive and then good penetrate. Okay, they got the ball. There's number 10, and she gets fouled. Now, I know that upsets Coach because she wasn't – she may or may not make that, but yeah. that's just not a good foul right there no, on the shot. So Jack, Jack, when CCS does break the press, they should look to score, right? I mean, uh, that's usually your best option. Yeah, you'd like them to. Uh, they have to have the right be able, ability to pass and, and see the open person and all that. But, uh, but, but if you yeah. don't score – Pull it out, set up the offense, mm -hmm. right? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I yeah, that think was, that's one thing they're not doing. Right. That was too quick of a shot. So, number 10 on the line, Maria, uh, she shoots 50%, but she's missed that one. So, that foul was on uh, was on uh, Riley, and that, I think that was her second, wasn't it? Didn't she get one earlier? Uh, but so 0 for 2 I on the line again. I believe again. the foul was on Maria, actually. Oh, it was? Yeah. Okay. Looks like we have uh, two new uh, Indians in the game. We have Alina Grubb, who has the ball right there. Yep. Just forced out of bounds. And Sophie Williams as well. That was a decent idea, but uh, she was she didn't have enough room to get by her. No. Just needed to fake a little better, maybe. Good look right there, taking it up the floor. There's a screen for her to yeah. try to get open. Good job there. All right, All right, your point guard, set up the offense. Looks like we're going to be in a 2-3. Yep. Good look inside. Right back to her. Good play right there. Wow. And it good. can't go in. That looked like it was all the way down in the goal, didn't it? Tell you what, Jack. They, you know, they, 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 they get the, the girl inside, but we're just all over. Yeah. Got nowhere for her to go. It's good defense. Nice drive by Malia. Gets a little too deep. Gets her own rebound. Back out with it. Oh, nice guy shot. shot yeah. Get it in quick before we can set up the yeah. press. Good move right there. Number 21, little left hander. There's 10, another left hander. Up with it, can't get it down. Rebound by Malia Mabry. Good look there into Maria. Yeah. Good finish. Uh-oh. Didn't get quite set. She knew she was open. But... So, yeah, they've got, got nice. some decent looks out of it. I think CCS is finding that if they could get the ball in before uh, Malia could get down there and guard the uh, inbounder, they can yeah. make that press a lot yeah, easier. Get out. Yeah, that's a, that's a good way to break it. Uh, it's 20 to 9 right now, so uh, we've got a little run of points here. And they're just having trouble putting it in the bucket right now, so... Mm -hmm. About a minute to go in the quarter. Good defense by Malia. That was a good take. I mean, a good, uh, you know, you're trying to go inside against the zone and see if you can get something up there. Yeah. And uh, the more you go inside, the more the outside opens up. She just couldn't get it over Malia. Sophie kind of maneuvers around, gets it to Maria. It's a good pass to... Nelly, uh, Melissa. Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice look. Another look. Oh. So Maria, uh, with Destiny, uh, they lead in assists. They they get two a game each, two and a half almost. And uh, Maria's got like three right now. Doesn't I, she? I say she's already passed that. Yeah. In the first quarter. And. Uh, There's Maria, nice move in the middle, good luck. That's some good instincts she's got, and there's yeah. uh, Malia in position. She gets fouled foul from behind. She's like that left side of the hoop, doesn't she? Yeah, she, yeah, <laughs> she definitely does. So that's fifth foul on uh, Cincinnati Christian. Norwood only has two. It's a pretty good, pretty clean game right now. It's been just some kind of uncalled for fouls that are just kind of whacking at them, getting, getting too, too tight and so forth. Yep. But uh, 
So Malia misses her first one. Malia only shooting 39% from the line, and she goes 50% right there. <laughs> now I'm kind of thinking. She's set up there, so. Uh huh. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then here comes that trap right there, and then it looks like Maria's just looking for the back pass. Yeah. Now it's only only first quarter. 12 seconds ago in the first quarter, and uh, you know they're under they're under man tonight since that Christian is, yes. and they only scored 16 points in the other game. So I'd kind of like to see Mike think about you know calling off the press after, and he probably will after yeah. first quarter, maybe midway through the second. The <laughs> 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 sophomore throwing, showing a little frustration there. Yeah. That was Caitlin Upman, and uh, just dribbled it on the out of bounds line. All right, good look by Sophie there, and couldn't couldn't get it to go down. So uh, Norwood will come in with some subs right away for the second quarter, and uh, Dahlia will come back in, and also Hannah Robinson. So after one quarter, it's 21 to nine, and uh, a little bit sloppy, right, Joel? Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, the difference being our press. Yeah, really? oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You know, you, you said uh, maybe maybe take that press off. I was actually talking with someone else today, and, you, you know, the game's not out of reach. You know, you, you can't just uh, – No, not necessarily, you know. except for you got to know the team you're playing against and with. And, and uh, like I said, they only had 16 points in the first game we played, yeah. and they're without their best score, so it's not likely for them to get a run of points. And, and, and But you want your girls to be playing hard. The tournament's yeah. coming up, and – yeah. And not let them let up and so forth. So I understand that part of it too. But running up the score is not my favorite thing to see, and yeah. I know Mike won't do that. Uh, Just poor sportsmanship, and that's not yeah. what we're about here at Norwood. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, real quick, uh, tonight's referees, we mentioned uh, we've got uh, Leanne Thayer and uh, Vincent Soaz and uh, Brian Bueller, or Brian Baller. His name is. Good name for a uh, basketball game, right? Absolutely. Gamer. Yeah. He didn't have a choice. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so a good crew tonight, and I uh, haven't, haven't noticed them, which is always good. Uh, when you don't notice referees, that means they're doing a pretty good yeah, job. Absolutely. So uh, since that Christian's ball, and they'll go with, uh, let's see, they got. That's a little overload right there, looking for the shot in the corner. Good box out by Hannah Robinson, just couldn't uh, hold on to that ball. Yeah. Good hustle by Suicide Christian. They're not. Uh, they're not going to give it to us. And, no. And quit. And so. Jack, I mean, if you said they only scored 16 last game, and they only got nine in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah. Know? So, you know, it was early in the year too, so they've improved. Yeah. I'm sure. Good rebound by Sophie. She got. Yeah. Good job. Go back up with that. There's Maria with the rebound, and she shuffled. No, it's not Maria, is it? Selena Grubb. It's Selena. Yep. So the press is on, and we're going to go with a two-two-one now. So it's a little bit different look. It won't be a trap right away. So they're gonna be, they're gonna bring it up, and I cut, right now he's working on uh, this press so he can use it in the tournament. That's what yeah. that's what Mike's trying to do. There's number 21 for three, a little bit off. I mean, it's a different kind of press with Emily in there, I think. Mm -hmm. you know. Well, the two two one's designed to kind of control them coming up, and you don't want to you don't want to come up to them too soon. You're trying to control their their possession. Mm -hmm. and uh, then trap after they get past half court. But if you let them throw it over your head, then it's over. Yeah, the, oh, wow. Nice shot by and Hannah Robinson. Yeah, I think the idea is actually to force them the corner of the half court. So right, they, uh, yeah, and the they got to the middle. In. Good good hands right there by Hannah. Oh. All right, that'll be an easy one. Almost lost the ball, Almost. but she takes it in. So that's where they, that's where they want it right oh, there. Oh, that's, that's the exactly trap they want they right want there. It. Nice job by 32 to get it rid of it, or 21. So the plan worked a lot worked right, but it just didn't execute yes, quite right. Yes. <laughs> got we got got a couple of admiring fans in front of us. There, we're teachers here come to support their uh, their students. Yeah. Miss Tapia. We they want to be. They may want to be halftime guests or something. Yes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> nice Williams. drive by Sophie. A little left hand runner there. Okay, we're gonna look at the two two one again and and uh, the back two people can't let the get behind them, so 
that's kind of stepping too early there, right? That's yeah. a little bit early, but I think it works. She, she stepped over the line, but that's not over and back unless she takes everything over. So she's yeah. all right. Three points, right? Two two feet in the ball have to be over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nice oh, shot right there by number twenty one. Anna Armour. So uh, so they have to be a lot improved from last time. They're kind of sticking some gut baskets in there. That's Anna's third three of the game. Another good another good look. You know, oh, wow. you know, you wonder why that um, Dahlia is open so much, but she's moving around and getting away from the defenders. She's yep. not just standing still and she's very active under there. She's improved a lot too this year. Yeah, she really has. And she'll make most of the layups, it looks like too. That's the key. She missed the first one. She's just got herself under the basket on that first one, but otherwise she's uh, she's got 10 points right now. Yeah. Norwood's ball out of bounds and number 14 in the game for Norwood, which is uh, Violet. Omi attack. Omi attack. Three point by Hannah Robinson. Is that right? That's two for her. Yeah. Nice. Six points for Hannah. So that's where you don't want the ball to be on this press is up the middle. Absolutely. There's a... There's a foul that's not a wise foul by Dahlia. Just reaching in, trying to knock the ball away. Hits her on the arm. That's what's going to happen when they beat the press there. And a nice move by Brianna Bush right there. So she's going to go to the line. She missed her first two. Shoots 56%, so she's got a chance to make a couple here. She's got one point. In the game for uh, Cincinnati Christian Stephanie Veldkamp. She's a freshman, number four. So, coach giving them a rest a little bit. 33 to 12, five minutes to go in the half. Second free throw up and good. Nice. Got a nice touch. Riley's going to run point here with uh, both Maria and uh, Sophie Williams out of the game. Now we gotta have, we're a little out of position there, so nice drive by Nalia. Nice. Oh, yeah, great job. Uh, now, listen, I said Nalia. Sorry, excuse me. Hey, there's a whole lot of the secrets Belmas out there, so <laughs> I understand, Jack. <laughs> and again, we're here with uh, on senior night and honoring our two seniors, Malia <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, Lily Peter. They've had some good careers, good, good long career of basketball. And, Absolutely. Uh, not sure where Malia's going to go, but uh, Lily wants to go to Otterbein and play basketball still when she gets her knee fixed up. Yeah, and she has uh, aspirations to be a journalist as well. So, right, so. yeah. Yeah, she came talk to us the other game, and uh, yeah. she's got a good start on it. No one's going to take a time out here. 30-second timeout. Okay. So real quick, we got a, uh, our, our seventh-grade coach is on the uh, doing the announcing, Sean Weisgerber, seventh-grade girls coach. And uh, he's having a good year, and uh, they're going to play for the uh, B team championship this week. Um, so good luck to those girls. And then uh, Dan Luking, uh, eighth grade, or, or the B, that's A and B now. I yeah, I think so. So anyway, the A-team coach, 13-2, and two, so they've had a really good year, and good luck to those girls in their tournament too. Good signs for what's coming up the pike here for uh, the yeah. high school team. Yeah, I got some real good, uh, real good athletes and basketball players yeah. coming through. Good movement, way to move the ball around. Oh, yeah, nice job. There's Hannah Robinson for a third three, but can't get that to go. There's Dahlia. There's Dahlia for another rebound and layup. Good job right there. 37-13. Looks like you might have that press off now, Jack. Yeah, yeah, he knocked it off there. Nice pass right there. Good That's look inside. Pass. There's number 21, a little strong. Good rebound. And a oh, foul, wow, it one. goes. It's a great pass. Bucket scored by uh, Katie Uffman, Caitlin Uffman. That was on number 14, Violet Omiatek. Okay. So she'll go to free throw line shooting one. And she's a sophomore, and she shoots. 
She has a 0% free throw. <laughs> she hasn't shot very many, I'm sure. Well, she's keep that streak alive. She's, she's over four now, so she hasn't had a lot of opportunities. Underwriting for this program was provided by Papa John's at 4803 Montgomery Road. Papa John's, locally owned and operated. Got a good student crowd tonight, too. Yeah. To watch the seniors play. How is it to see the uh, the boys team come out and watch uh, for the girls in their mm -hmm. senior night? Yeah. Maria Velasco checking back in at the table. To say, Christian showing a little patience there and just held it too long. As they didn't ever get it to this left side, they kept it over on the right side. Nora would have had too many people. Malia Mabry back in, and Maria Velasco. So, since that Christian in a 2 3 zone right now, Maria's going to play the middle and uh. Malia looking to kind of sneak behind and run the baseline. Showing a little patience. Basically against the zone, you just want to kind of move the ball and make them not know where you are, and maybe they'll miss a coverage and get a shot up. Tire them out a little bit. Uh-huh. Good rebound by Malia. Maria throws it up, and there's... There it is. Violet only attack with the rebound and the putback. All right, press back on with... Malia in, and Malia with the steal. Steal in, wow, okay. Okay, coach calling him back right now. Good move by 45, just gets trapped in the corner. Back out, there's number four. Couldn't get it to go no. off the backboard. Oh, I always hate when they stop and pick up the dribble like that, Jack. Right, yeah, she didn't. Thought she was going to pass it. Maria's going to take a three from the top of the key and can't get it to go. Norwood drops back. One, 150 left to go in the half. Good move right wow, there, great, nice pass. Great pass great Caitlin Uffman just kind of made a nice little cut and saw a gap to throw into. Nice spin move too to, to, give, yeah. to get the bucket. 41-17, they have uh, equaled their total from the last time they played the whole game. So uh, much improved there. Absolutely. It? Teams get better as the year goes on, Jack. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. So they, the more they you should. play, the better you get. Exactly. Forty-one seventeen. 17 uh, This is probably a lot of points for Norwood as well. Um, they're averaging 48 for the year, so we're almost to that in the first half here. Since that Christian not happy, happy about that, do you think you got fouled there, Joel? No, I don't. I think uh, Malia stayed, uh, stayed straight up. And okay. And Maria might have got fouled right there. I think the referees are okay with letting those go for now. Things change at halftime. They like to talk and figure things out. Uh huh. Yeah, not that they, not that they are not fouls or no. they are fouls. I mean, it's a judgment either way. So, so uh, good coaches say if there was no whistle, there was no foul, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. Good move there. Nice spin oh, around. Wow, great move. That's Lauren Barr. So. Okay, well, so Mike just picked Mike. that technical foul. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, I'm not sure either. Not unhappy about a call because he's yelling at the referee. And uh, so that means he's got to sit down. This is not a good game to the T in, I no, don't think. No, it's not. I wonder what, what he's so upset about here. I'm not sure. I don't know. So uh, number 45, uh, Brianna Bush goes to the line. She's there. Actually, their second leading free throw shooter, Anna Armour, is their best one. 
But she, uh, she already made two, and they looked good going in. So, yeah. So there's the bucket right there, 41 to 20, with 30 seconds to go. Coach is really upset. I don't know why. I think he's taking issue with uh, with one of the referees. I don't, I don't know what the issue could be. Yeah. Uh, so she makes both. Makes 41-21. Uh, Cincinnati Christian's ball. So they may hold it for the last set, the last shot here, possibly. I don't know if they will, but no reason to. No. Other than, you know, no, keep the score he, where it is. Get a, get, get a good look, take the shot, I would say. Yeah, Maria Fish with the steal up Maria. front. Uh, she could give it up, but she saw a way to go around. There's a foul. Yeah, she is, yeah. So dangerous. She had uh, Sophie on the other side, I think, wasn't it, Sophie? Yeah, it was Sophie. And, uh, I thought she she'd did. have given her up out right away. She'd have been able to get it back or Sophie take it in. That's an ideal break right there because Sophie's left-handed and Maria's left <laughs> right-handed. You can go either way. <laughs> yep. But she got around the girl. She knew she could take her all the way. Okay, they're talking about who the foul's on. And uh, they're saying it's 21, Anna Armour. I don't. I think he called the wrong number. He meant yeah, to say, he did. say. Number 11. 11. Elizabeth Bowling. She's a sophomore. So Maria going to go for another free throw, or for a free throw. She made the bucket. Looking for a three point play. Still struggling the line. Kind of strong, yeah. Gets her own rebound. Sophie for two. And there's Selena Grubb. Selena Grubb with eight seconds to go. So looking to get a good screen out there. Yep. Oh, it went too far. I don't know if she knew what the time was. Yep. Trying to get all the way. So uh, Coach Moyer's talking to uh, the other official, just kind of pleading his case. and. I don't know if it's something personal or not, but anyway, <laughs> uh, at the end of at the end of the first half, it's Norwood 45, um, Cincinnati Christian 21 here on Senior Night on uh, Wednesday night in February. So we'll come back and talk to you after halftime. Sounds good. All right, we're back with uh, Norwood Senior Night, uh, Norwood versus Cincinnati Christian School, and uh, scored halftime 45-21. This is Jack Bolden. I'm here with Joel Ward, and Joel, uh, looks like we've got the game under control at this point. Yes, as long as we keep playing at the level we're playing, I think we shouldn't have any problems. It's easy to let up, and uh, they're not going to they're not going to get out of our way for any reason. So, yeah. so we got to keep playing hard. So, uh, there's. Malia Mabry going in with her strong left yeah. hand. And, uh, right the trap. So oh, no, Riley, Riley Molden playing off. point guard and uh, Nalissa Segrist Balama uh, on the floor and Dahlia, what is Dahlia, Khalil? Dahlia Khalil, yes. And, uh, and then Maria Velasco. Velasco. So uh, starting the second half. Nice little work right there underneath the basket. Yeah. There's Dahlia with the layup. <laughs> Boys team over there rooting for the team. And <laughs> yes, they're out here cheering. Malia, uh -huh. Malia keeps, oh, sorry. Malia keeps wanting to uh, get in the press, and she's the only oh, one yeah. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa right there, and Maria Good ahead of her player. Good luck. Way to lead her. Good luck right there. The boys are fired up right here. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Maria gets a little bit of space right there ahead of her and gets fouled on the way. And foul on number five, Caitlin Uffman. And that is her second. So number four coming in. And she'll come in for Brianna Bush. Bush, And uh, that's Stephanie Veldkamp. So they make an adjustment under the basket for rebounding. Well, Maria, hopefully she can get a grip on her free throws, but on that one she can't. And I think she kind of pushed her way over to get the ball. She <laughs> didn't got get there, caught. Didn't she? Yeah. yeah. See, so anyway, think about that first half, Jack. Uh, I like to see how many points we had on uh, uh, offensive rebounds. It yeah. It seems that we just we just dominated in that uh, category. We definitely did. That was it. Got a few steals on the press. Got us in the lead. So there's a trap down there. 
Uh, unwise to dribble down in the corner when they're trapping so, and then pick it up. So Melissa knocks it out of bounds, and so uh, Cincinnati Christian's going to call a full timeout. Uh, we're just a little bit out of sorts right now. I think they're short, starting to show a little frustration because Cincinnati Christian just because uh, behind so much, 51 for 21. So, uh, and it, it is a good sign Norwood came back out and uh, ready to play. Yes. So. Definitely fired up, wanting to keep this game, keep this game uh, out of hand. So uh, at the scores table tonight, as always, uh, Tracy Wharf uh, running the uh, the scorebook or doing the scorebook. Patrick Mattingly doing the clock. They're always here and can't run a show without them. Of course, Sean Weisgerber on the uh, doing the announcing. So always good to have good help and get these games underway. Patrick looking good in his bow tie tonight. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Although not as good as I usually pull it off. But no, 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 not any chance. Norwood students having some fun this half. Makes the game move a little quicker if it's, <laughs> if it's that way. Yes, it does. Principal Tina Akers uh, has a seat in front of us. She's having a good year, according to her, and I'll have to take her word for it. <laughs> <laughs> newly appointed principal or... Yes, it's her Assigned. first year. She was yep. assistant principal last year. I think it's her 23rd year in education I here know. at Norwood. She taught, uh, started out with me in 1991. And uh, after 12 more years, I retired. And then she had the gym on her own. So you kind of groomed her then is what you're I saying. I did. Yeah. I groomed her. Okay. She, everything she knows came from me. <laughs> <laughs> Good steal by Maria. Nice left right there. Gets to go in. Yeah. Left and right handed. I think that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's uh, 10 points for Maria. Uh, s still, our, our leading scorer is. Um, and she's got another breakaway. Good look by Dal Dahlia getting the ball out to her. Right, yeah. And Dahlia, yeah, Dahlia's got 14. She's got 12. So they want him to slow down. Coach Tones, nope, they're not going to. So uh, it'd be better just to kind of take your time and not get in a rush. They get too many turnovers getting in a rush like that. Mm -hmm. Norwood in a 2 3. So uh, Coach Moyer's doing everything he can, really, to not run up the score, you know, so bad. Yeah. Uh, you know, they have to rebound, they have to play defense, and they have to, you know, play hard or else they get in a bad habit. So it would be easy to do that. But you still want to not be unsportsmanlike. Yes. So and if you're wondering why uh, Coach Moyers is sitting on the bench, it's because he picked up a technical foul in the second quarter. Yeah, he did. He got upset. They tell us uh, he was upset with on uh, on offensive rebounds. We were putting the ball back up there, cutting under us. So it kind of upset him a little bit and and uh, just said the wrong thing to the referee. It's just the coach trying to look out for his players. Right. So 55-21. Um, we're just a couple minutes, four seconds into the second, uh, third quarter. Nice little screen out there out front. I can't get it to go. Marie on the move again. Oh, can't finish this time. Dahlia, good hustle, getting back. A little bit too much dribbling for Anna Armour right there. Just kind of dribbled it off her foot or got it knocked out of bounds off of her last. So uh, to break the zone, you got to move the ball by passing. Mm -hmm. There you go. This is like Christian goes into a, into a 2-3. We have uh, no one in the middle. We've got five people outside. There goes Malia Mal in the middle. Oh, look at uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dahlia's funny. Dahlia's a great time there. Yeah. Dahlia hits a three. That might be her first three of the year. We'll have to see. Um, might be her first attempt of the year. <laughs> it could be. Oh, wow. Malia, nice little behind the back. That was Malia's, uh, Maria. I think she's Malia. giggling, so she's all right. Yeah, she's all right. So now the only thing I, the problem I got with it, Joel, is Dahlia's a little too celebratory in this game because it's kind of in sportsman like to do that. That is her first one. Yeah. And she was before the game. There was no JV game, so she was telling us how she was going to attempt a three for uh, Coach Cox, and uh, so she did. Knocked it down. It's good. She didn't make any in warmups. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, good job by Maria slowing it down here. Right, yeah. Hopefully she's listening to her coach. Let's sit down, let's practice running the offense. I think he really want Molina to try and attempt the three as well. I, I never liked when, when if I was in the lead like that, nice shot right there, good place, uh, good shot by Riley. And uh, that was a good take. She was right yeah. there wide open, nice little take, relaxed shot. But I didn't, know, I didn't want my players to show up the other team, you know, no, no. matter what the score is. Just continue straight face and play hard yes. and, you know, things will come. And then You know, Jack, I've been on the other end of that so many times that. Oh, no. <laughs> good move by, Dil yeah. by Maria. Can't finish. The crowd kind of gets you going a little bit. You yeah. know, the guys are over there having fun. And, oh, here's Malia. Malia's going to shoot oh, into Oh, wow. Wow. Well, let's see if that's Malia's first attempt. Yep. That's right. See, that's bad coaching because they could have been shooting threes yeah. all year and he wouldn't let them. But Slow it down. Maria on the move again. And uh, yeah. we got some we got some subs my, coming in. My, Coach is going to get call timeout. Yeah, it is. We got a whole new group coming in, and uh, girls real happy about hitting the three point shots. Yeah. So uh, now on the other end, Joel, on, on the receiving end of this, their yeah. coach has got to keep their girls calm and and uh, not worry about that. Focus on the game and focus on what you're doing no matter what the score is. And, and you kind of get in the huddle and you say, look, we're down by this much. We want to cut it by the time the quarter ends. You know, yeah. let's, let's outscore them in the last three minutes or whatever we got of this quarter. And uh, just try to keep them up and keep them playing. We're trying to keep them from getting discouraged. Let's, let's, let's win the fourth. Uh -huh. too, yeah. You know, yeah. That's what you talked about. Yeah, about 3.23 to go. And I don't know, have they scored yet this quarter? I don't think they I, have. I don't think they have, no. So 65-21. Uh, uh, you I know, would, after would, the game, you got to kind of look the other coach in the face, too. And, you know, you don't want to make him feel like you were trying to embarrass you. That's the thing. And let's not forget, so, you know, there might be a couple years down the road. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some coaches have no shame that way. They'll they'll keep going. Yeah. And, uh, but that's not the way Mike is. Well, I'm pretty sure they took their uh, took their, their starters out. So. Mm -hmm. And, like I said, there's only certain things you can do without just laying down and that's embarrassing, too, if, yeah. if you do that to a yeah. team. So you got <laughs> Hannah Robinson in, Violet Omitek, uh, uh, Aaliyah, Alina Grubb. Sophie. Sophie Williams, and number 20 is Summer Ward. And and this is good for them to get get experience, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, they're, not gonna, they're not here to not, to not play hard. I mean, uh -huh, we're still, yeah. still going to play hard. Right. Yep. The only uh, – Nor player we don't have at been in the game yet is uh, Maya Hubbard. Let's see, we'll see her a little bit later on. Okay. Maya sophomore, and um, she's only been in two games, so uh, he might just be holding her out. He's got uh, a rotation of five and five right now. There's number four for three. Long rebound. A lot of dribbling. Doesn't seem to work usually, right? Well, unless they were going somewhere, she was just dribbling around. And uh, you want to kind of penetrate if you can or, yeah. you know, kick it out so somebody has a three-point attempt. Sophie... Loses the ball. She kind of got tripped, but I don't know if foul or not. She just, I, I think she just tripped over her own feet. Yeah. She's all right. No harm, no foul. And back in the game, number 10 is uh, Miranda Hel Hyde. Is that Held or Hyde? Uh, I'm going to go with Hyde. Okay. Coach rotating his, his players to keep them kind of fresh and not wear them out. Yeah, it was traveled by number 11. She... When she moved the ball over, she switched pivot feet. Ah. 2.16 left in the third quarter. AD Alex Hines takes a seat in front of us. and Alex having a good year. His uh, assistant was here, Jen List, earlier mm -hmm. as a spectator. Right. Nice take by Violet. Alina. Lena playing hard. 
Oh, oh she got tackled. Good. I, yeah, she did it right there, and uh, the bodies hit the floor. Uh, it's not a it's not a rough mean rough. It just kind of lost her balance. Yeah, fell over each other. So nothing serious right there. As long as the players get up, kind of smiling, they're okay. Well, they're having fun, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, nice play. Yeah. A little strong on the shot. So, uh, number uh, 10 for uh, Mar uh, Miranda Hyde took a whack, uh, and uh, I think she, she was going with the ball, but uh, yeah. she uh, whacked Alina Grubbs pretty good. And so almost come out. back in. Yeah. So Norwich ball out of bounds on that rebound. So we're looking for, well, just kind of a layup right there. The girls try to sp spread the two defenders away. And then uh, Violet goes over to, is that Violet number 10? Yeah. Uh, Miranda. 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 Nope, that's somebody else. <laughs> that's Hannah Robinson number 10. Hannah, that's what I meant. Look at the wrong score sheet. So. Anyway, she was go she was circling around to look for a, a three point shot. Yeah, got it covered. A little sloppy right there in that possession. It was good movement for a while. Uh, okay, oh, it's uh, Norwich ball. Norwich ball. Oh, it's a jump. That's jump our ball, possession. Yeah. Uh, one of Norwood's girl or one of uh, Cincinnati Christian's girls. Oh, she's bleeding a little bit. She got poked in the nose there. Elizabeth Bowling, I believe. Okay. We're looking for uh, some shots for Hannah real quick here, looks like. There it is back to her. That'll be up in the air. Hannah Robinson. Right on the mark, around the money, but just a little strong. Hannah was hitting him earlier. Uh-huh. She had to rush that a little bit. The yeah. other defender coming out. Girls still playing hard, hustling. Oh, oh nice wow. shot right there. That's uh, Caitlin, Caitlin Uffman for... Uh, but barely got above the rim, didn't it? I think he was a little surprised that went in. Uh, yeah, yeah, she is. Got fouled. Foul was on Alina Grubbs, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, here's here comes uh, Maya Hubbard. First appearance in the game. Oh, good tap out good right tap there. Tap out by Summer yeah. Ward. Alina having a little fun out there, isn't she? I tell you what, she, she, she's, and you know, she's been playing the whole game, too. She's yeah. Like a, a, I think she's going to come out here now, okay. yeah. I just like I like her demeanor. She plays hard. And, Absolutely. You know, she's getting knocked around a little bit. She gets up with a smile on her face, and she's still ready. She's playing deep. That's hard. She's not afraid to take a little contact. Uh-huh, yeah. There's Hannah in the corner again. She's a little strong on that. I think the Norwood faithful are trying to get uh, Summer and, and uh, Maya to mm -hmm. make a basket here. Right. Summer number About 20, less than Maya a minute. 24. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Uh, she threw that pass before she was ready and just kind of got away from her. Yeah. So the Sophie on the move and uh, playing a point guard. Norwood goes 1-3-1. One, Against the two-three zone. Is that one-three-one? No, we're we're running one-three-one. Oh, one-three-one. One. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh, crap. nice one pass shot. out. Good play. Good My penetration and kick out. That was good. Sophie Williams just takes it away. A little left. Oh, nice running. play by Sophie. Good play. Coach encouraging them to get back. Twenty seconds left. So it's hard to take the aggressiveness out of a kid. You know, they just want to play and. Well, they're not aware of uh, sometimes I mean, just want to play hard, that's all. We pretty much have a JV team out on the floor right now. So mm -hmm. Two seconds left, it's up, and they can't score. So, All right, pretty good quarter right there. It was, that was a fun quarter. They only, yeah. Since that Christian only able to come up with two points on that, and uh, that was the shot by, um, by Caitlin Uffman. Yeah. And uh, just to what, 20 seconds ago or so, it seemed like. And so we're 67-23, uh, uh, Norwood uh, head of Society Christian. We got to see uh, uh, Belia's first three of the year and uh, Dahlia's first three of the yeah. year. Yeah. What are they shooting from a uh, three-point this year, Jack? What's They're shooting 100%. 100%. <laughs> well, you got to get, get more looks then, I huh? know, one for one each. <laughs> That's only fair. 
<laughs> if you make one, you get a chance at another one. I don't think they will tonight. No, but, uh, I don't think so either. They're probably going to sit out this fourth quarter. Although, yeah, I think they'll sit out this fourth quarter. So, so we'll go with uh, Summer Ward and um, and Violet. Omi attack. Omi attack. We got Sophie Ryan on the floor. William. Sophie Williams. Sophie Ryan. <laughs> Um, Alina Grubbs. Uh, yeah. And Maya Hubbard. I think I said her first. Uh, five, yeah, I said Bob. Okay, we got five players. It's Summer Ward. Yeah, you said Summer Ward. Okay. okay. Ben benefit of uh, being a teacher. I know everybody's name without looking at a sheet. Yeah, that, that is good. <laughs> yeah, since that Christian's ball first, they shoot a three, can't get it to go down. Oh, yeah. Nice steal by Maya right there. Takes her time. Slows it down. Move the ball around. Violet with the shot. I'm not sure if that was tipped, but I don't know. It looked like it, didn't it? This is interesting. Dahlia's coming back in the game. Yeah, Dahlia in for summer. Uh, Dahlia with uh, I think like 16 points. She's going to play the middle, and, and this may be just a case where coach wants her to play the middle position on defense for a little bit so she knows where to be. Oh. Oh, just an unfortunate she just ran into her. Another intentional sure there. I think she was just going to, she thought uh, Sophie was going to start dribbling and she didn't. And she just ran right into her elbow. Oh, so she, oh gosh. Yeah. Brianna Bush. So she's, she's going to stay in. She's all right. You know, I'm, I'm guessing they had a few games like this just because you know they're 0 and 9 in the league. Nice, nice shot right Maya there. That's just a nice two, shot. just a two. But uh, Maya shoots 33 percent from the field, so she can. You don't want to leave her alone. She's uh, one, one for two for four right now, so shoot 50 percent for the year. Yeah. So that looks like that uh, rebound hit the uh, the wire by the, by oh, the okay. rim. So that's why it's playing yeah. a stop there. Maya looks like a natural out there. She's not scared or no. worried about it or anything. So, I'm sure, she'll be fine. She looks nice and relaxed. Knows what to do. Oops! As except we, for that. As we <laughs> I did jinx her right there. Nice try by nice Sophie try. right oh, there. She oh, it. she's going to call a block or a call a charge. Oh, do you agree with that, Jack? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah. Uh, she was not in position yet, in my view. Yeah. And uh, that might be worthy of getting a T on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but, I mean, good attempt by Sophie. She had the right idea yeah, to get in position, not try to block the shot or get the foul there. So, good for her. Dahlia for three again. And I'm, she I'm, goes down to 50% for her <laughs> lifetime. I'm kind of with threes. you, Jack, on this uh, shooting threes here. Uh, you got your one three. We don't need to keep uh, right. keep doing that. Yeah. You know, let's, uh, let's move the ball around, maybe eat some clock up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fouls on, that's on Maya, Maya Hubbard. And then uh, number 10, M Miranda Hyde <coughs> to the line. She shoots 50%. A little strong with that. Nice little left-hander. Uh, since that Christian, a rather young team, they've got a, they've got three seniors, but, uh, but the, they've got some kids coming back. That one good. By uh, Miranda Hyde. 69 24 with, uh, we're just approaching six minutes to go in the game. Sophie with the penetration there, and she's got a nice little gap. She's not dribbling into two people exactly, she's no. dribbled in between them. So, yep. so she's got enough gap to maybe shoot it or pass it out. So that foul number five is uh, Caitlin Uthman. She didn't agree. <laughs> Shoot a one on one here for Sophie Williams. Yeah. Let's see what Sophie had here percentage wise. She's uh, fifty percent. Can't come up with that one. Off the rim. Dahlia. I know Coach wants her to back up. Still, it's hard. still hard to pass those instincts up and try yeah. to play hard. No problem there. Good look in. Couldn't handle the pass though. 
Good move by Sophie. Get away from trouble. Get it out. There's Amaya. Back to Sophie. She's open. She didn't realize it, I don't think, until she looked. Good hustle by Dahlia. Good take by Sophie. Mm. You know what? Uh, Sophie's got 17 points. Uh, it could be a career high. I'm not sure. Actually, I think it's Dahlia with 17 points. Dahlia, Dahlia yeah, that's yeah. what I meant. There's another 17. There's 19. <laughs> Dahlia with 19. Plays the crowd a little bit on the way down. <laughs> so that, Ward checking back in. I'm yeah, sure that might be Dahlia. her. Might be a career high. That might have been what Coach was doing, letting her get a, a new career high or set a new high, and then uh, she's going to come out, looks like. Good battle right there for Alina Grubbs. Yeah. Underwriting for this program was provided by Papa John's at 4803 Montgomery Road. Papa John's, locally owned and operated. Sophie likely uh, a point guard next year, at least one of the guards for uh, Norwood. I think so. Dahlia flinging up a three there. Oh, getting a little lazy on defense. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good job by happen. Sophie to let her go. She had the advantage. Yeah. And uh, that was Anna Armour going all the way. Nice little left-handed shot for her. She hasn't had a bad game. She got 10 points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a three. 4.24 to go. We're showing a little patience here. Oh. Okay, Maya goes and gets it back after, after a bad pass. All right, they're going to... I didn't like that. That was a little too too hard coming down on the ball there. But, yeah. you know, she had it stuck out there a little bit. So, so jump ball. So Dolly's going to stay in, actually. So yeah, Lena Grubbs nice. and Sophie come out. Okay. And uh, Hannah Robinson and uh, Summer Ward. And Summer Ward. Yeah, Dolly, you think she got fouled there. but I think the referee's going to hold off on those calls I think, at this I point. Think so. Yeah. You're going to have to. It's got to be really blatant for them yeah. to have to call it now. So you have to show a little okay. patience if you're. Let's just say Christian going to call a timeout again. That's, I think that's the fourth one. They probably have one more. So he's. Might be trying to just get a breather for his girls. Mm -hmm. Going to talk to him a little bit. You know, it's, it's not uncommon to. Go ahead and put your two seniors back. Well, of course, Lily's not coming in, but <laughs> maybe put Malia back in just for one last appearance and a round of applause. She, she came out early yeah, she did. of this third quarter, but it's still 71-26 games, so I, that's kind of – I don't think I put her back yeah, in. Yeah, kind of hard to do too. She has had ankle and knee problems anyway. They wouldn't yeah. want to jeopardize that for the tournament. Do you know what seed we got for the tournament, Jack? No, I haven't, I haven't heard. heard. I haven't heard I haven't either. either. Uh, maybe it's coming up. Let me ask Alex here real quick. In fact, uh, probably should start the tournament next week. Do we draw yet? Yes. Uh, it's got a six seed. Okay. I imagine that's about the middle of the pack. I imagine. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how many. That's kind of upper level, you know. Upper level. Uh, you play a you play a, a a little bit easier team to start with, and then you'll. There's number 10, nice move. She had the shot. Good good penetration right there. That's that's Miranda Hyde. And just off the mark right there. Norwood on the move. There's Hannah Robinson with the ball. There's Dolly again. Dolly with 21 now. So yeah, Norwood had a number six seed drawn and it looks like they're going to play against the number 13 seed Madeira. Okay. Uh, and they played Madeira earlier and handled them pretty well as I remember. So, and then, uh, and then they'll have, the winner of that game will play Clark and I when I hear we, we beat Clark uh, on Saturday. So could have a chance to move, move out to a nice uh, Yeah, sectional nice final run. that would be. Yeah. So number 21 Anna Armour with, uh, with another two points or a three pointer I think. So she's got 13 now. There she is again. Not, Feeling not, not a bad shot she yeah. has, I'll tell you what. Jump ball is the goal. Dahlia and uh, number 24, Lauren Barr. Let's jump ball. Here comes Malia. Shows you what we know. Yep. <laughs> 
2.56 left in the game, so. Now, do you think this, is she's going to get in just for, for a minute so she can come out and get, get her applaud? Well, that's what I was know? thinking. We'll see. You know, there's two minutes left, maybe just to finish the game even. I'm sure he doesn't want her to go, you know, go crazy and score a bunch of points or anything. Looks like they're trying to get it Going right to her, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The coach could say one thing, but her friends could do the other That's thing. That's right, yeah. So. Yeah, they want to have her go out on a high note. Oh, she was right there for the inbound. There's pass. Anna. Anna Armour all the way. 15 points for her. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice game by her. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like to think that if they had their – their leading scorer, it would be even closer yeah. for them. So apparently, they're looking for her pretty good for uh, Malia on on every possession. So I don't think she's got any record-breaking night or anything. No. Good defense good by Violet. Yeah, good stop right there. Didn't charge or, or didn't uh, come up too hard or foul or anything. Yeah, they're trying to get into her. I think CCS mm -hmm. might be trying to <laughs> Maybe knows that. A couple subs for Cincinnati Christian. Under two minutes now left to go in the game. And senior right there's Malia. That's her move. Can't quite get it to go. Yep. She had a look at it. Yeah. Nice shot, oh, wow. and Armour again. Wow, 18 points. She might have all the points this quarter, I think. Uh, that's possible. Uh, Malia with the rebound, going back up with it. That dribble is kind of unnecessary. You're not uh, supposed yeah. to do that, but uh, it's hard, got her it's hard balance. to break that habit, too. Yeah, it know? is. Just had to get her balance, go back up. Number 45 with an attempt. Malia with the rebound. Let's see what I like about Malia. That, that ball went up to uh, the, the, the long shot. And instead of watching the ball, she found her man to box out and boxed out and got the rebound. Was, yeah. <laughs> Foul on Malia reaching in right there. Um, looks like Mike's going to leave her in for. Yeah, here comes Summer Ward to see who she's getting now here. Okay, there she is. a big round of applause for Malia. Yeah, that's nice. I don't think we have to announce that. I no, think I, uh, I think we can hear Sean. Good job by Sean. <laughs> yeah. There's number ten and another three. They've kind of caught yeah, Miranda Hyde. Kind of caught fire here in the yeah. last two minutes. There's a nice Summer, drive by oh, Summer. Good Summer pass Ward. out. Good look. Crowd wanted Summer to take that to the hole. There she goes. There you go, Summer. Good job. Nice play. Summer doesn't look too all upset about it. I mean, <laughs> she, she wants to score too, but yeah. uh, she's being unselfish. That's all right. 30 seconds ago. Hey, I want to thank the guys up in the up in the uh, camera camera wells, Tyler and Steve and, uh, and Eddie. Uh, thanks, you guys, for uh, a whole year. I had, had a lot of nice games and good coverage. And so uh, it's a really nice to have this for the kids to watch later on. There's another 10 seconds ago. There's Summer on the rebound. She can't she get it. Chance. Oh, and it got blocked. She had a chance. <laughs> uh, she was trying, but that's all right. So, Joel, uh, I guess just too much manpower for us tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, uh, really good senior night. You always want to finish that way. Uh, I mean, uh, congratulations to Malia and, and, uh, and uh, Lily on great careers here at Norwood, and hopefully they'll go far in the tournament. And, uh, you know, for, for since I Christian, uh, hopefully they'll improve, and I know they'll work hard at it, and they'll be yeah. back next year. Well, good luck to Northern Tournament, and uh, thanks for having me again, Jack, and I enjoyed it. Yeah, thanks for helping out. It's always nice to have somebody here. Yeah. And uh, for the 
for the scores, scores crew, the coaches, the uh, camera crew, and everyone uh, in production and supervising. We appreciate it. And uh, so for Joel Ward, this is Jack Bolden here on Senior Night saying good night, everybody, and congratulations. Underwriting for this program was provided by Papa John's at 4803 Montgomery Road. Papa John's, locally owned and operated.